Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a full face first impression on things featured in my last video which was a beauty haul. This is the look that I came up with so if you guys want to know how I got it just keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with the eyes and I'm first going in with the Maybelline Master Prime Long Lasting Eyeshadow Base. This is the Prime and a smooth one. Not opened these yet, but in my haul, they are already open because I'm filming this before I film the haul. But it comes in a doe foot applicator. This is kind of greasy. I'm sorry if you guys hear any banging or anything. My dad's currently redoing our decks, so. I'm gonna also try out this. This is the e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Smooth Matte Eyeshadow in the shade Nude Linen. Again, it's in a doe foot type of applicator. Blended out pretty good. Now for like the star of the show, the Too Faced Sweet Peach Eyeshadow Palette. I have wanted this for forever now. And the VIB sale came up and purchased it. If you know me, I love anything peach. I'm gonna set like the eyeshadow bases. I'm gonna go in with white peach and peaches and cream. Just combine them and set. That set it pretty well. And the e.l.f. like matte shadow kind of set on its own. I just want to make sure that everything blends okay on top of it. So that's why I'm putting down a shade. I'm gonna grab a wet and wild crease brush and I'm gonna go in with Georgia. There aren't really a whole lot of like transition shades, but I mean, hey, this kind of worked at least for my skin tone. I'm gonna go into a different brush. I'm gonna grab this brush. I don't know the name. And I'm gonna go into Candid Peach, but I can see it has a little bit of sparkle, but not too much. So we're gonna try this in the crease. Yeah, that's matte shade, just like up close. It looks like that it has like some sparkle, but I'm not mad at it. I'm gonna go in with a Bogashi Taper Blending Brush, and I'm gonna go into the shade puree. I'm just gonna blend that into my crease. I'm gonna go back in with the Wet n Wild crease brush and a little bit of Georgia and blend this out. I'm gonna go in with a Luxie 237 blending brush in with some Charmed I'm Sure. I'm gonna do that in like the outer V, but I'm also gonna bring it into the crease a little bit. Going again with the Bogashi um, Taper Blending Brush to blend it out. Now for the lid, I'm going to first go in with Bless Her Heart. I'm gonna try it wet for I me, mean dry first. I'm gonna apply that all over the lid. Going back in with the Bogashi Taper Blending Brush to blend it. And then I'm gonna go in with an Ulta Small Eye Brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Bellini and focus this right on the center of the lid. Again, going in with a Bogashi Taper Blending Brush to blend it out. For mascara, I'm gonna be trying the e.l.f. Ex Lash Extending Mascara. Lashes appear long and full with a rich curl for ultimate definition. The fiber infused mascara helps give lashes maximum extension. This mascara one looks pretty good. I'm not seeing any lengthening in this mascara. I don't think this is going to be like my new holy grail mascara. It gets the job done, but it's like doesn't get everything that I want it to do. I'm now going to apply some lashes and the lashes I'm going to be using are the Salon Perfect number 110s. I have used these before and these I think are my new holy grail lashes. That's how good they are. So I'm going to apply these off camera really fast and then we'll go on to the face. Now we have the lashes on, uh, it's time to move on to the face. And for primer, I have the e.l.f. Face Poreless Face Prime, the clear one. We're gonna try this out. It just comes in a nice, like, pump bottle. 
I've never had like a poreless primer come in a pump bottle before. So packaging, I don't really know how I feel about the scent. It's just not for me. This multi-purpose primer preps your skin so makeup goes on evenly for a long lasting matte finish. Unique formula helps reduce the appearance of enlarged pores, fine lines, and shine. I have two foundations I can try. I don't know which one. So I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Dream Velvet because I have a lot of e.l.f. products and this is not a full face using e.l.f. They'll come later. But I wanted something different new for like the entire face but I don't have a whole lot of money so it says it's a soft matte hydrating foundation it's a gel whipped foundation and I got the shade five warm porcelain because it said warm I did test like the shade before I bought it it's a little th on the thicker side but I do have a new sponge to try out. This is the L'Oreal Blend Artist Infallible Foundation Blender. It's really hard. This is really hard. And it retains a lot of water. So maybe that's why it's a little harder. Foundation dries really fast. Well, now we know. This dries really fast. I want to see like how it builds. I do not like this sponge. I don't know how I feel. Like, do you guys hear that? It sits nicely on my skin though. I like this primer. My skin doesn't look over texturized. I'd heard good things about this sponge. But what? That foundation covered up everything. Concealer. I have the e.l.f. HG Lifting Concealer in the shade Fair. This is one product that I have not swatched, so I don't know. Let's try this. I'm gonna do it under the eyes. This high definition concealer helps hide imperfection and minimize fine lines. Formula infused with vitamin C, green tea, and mulberry for skin firming and soothing benefits to provide skin with an even toned textured look. And it's a little too dark for me. That's darker than my foundation. I'm gonna do this on the center of the face. Now to set it, for under the eyes, I have the Ulta Finishing Powder in the shade Translucent. I have the one in the banana shade and I love the texture of it. Not sure how I'm gonna feel about this, but I'm just gonna go in with a Luxie 660 Precision Foundation Brush and set under the eye. For set the rest of the face, I'm gonna go in with these, the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. I have mine in the shade Celestial. I have tried these, but it's just like on top of makeup, existing makeup. And I think we can say that we are glow to the guns. Now to set the rest of my face, we'll be trying out the Maybelline Shine Free Oil Control Loose Powder in the shade Light. Why can't they sell a translucent? I'm putting this over that highlight and you can still see it. Probably look really weird right now with no eyebrows. I'm gonna now do my brows. I have new eyebrow products, both by Essence, the Eyebrow Designer, and the Make Me Brow. This is in the shade of Blonde, and this is in the shade Softy Brown. Soft Brownie Browns. This is a hard pencil. Everything always looks more put together when you have brows on. Final verdict, this is way too hard. This is still too light for my brows. Bronzer. I have this e.l.f. Blush and Bronzing Powder. This shade at Turks and Caicos. Did not know it was this dark when I got it. This is really powdery. Probably should have read some reviews. 
this is what I do. I buy stuff without reading the reviews. I'm like, eh, <laughs> this is not what I expected. I mean, with a light hand, it's not too bad. I'm gonna go in with the Lexi 514 blush brush and use the blush because it is still pretty. For a powder highlight, I mean, like you can still kind of see the cover effects through the powder, but just, and more. I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox and PC Home Spotlight Palette in the shade Pearl. I'm gonna go in with a Morphe 501 and take a mixture of the first and last shades. I think this is Turn It On Pearl and this is Blow A Fuse Pearl. Can't really tell really because I do have the cover effects one underneath. It's not as intense as I would think. Time to finish the eyes. I'm going to go into Puree and apply that to the lower lash line. I'm going to highlight my brow bone actually with the Kesey Holmes and Smashbox collaboration and I'm gonna go in with again the last shade on the brow bone. Just to finish out the eyes apply some of that lash extending mascara for lips. The lip liner is a Sephora lip liner. Lip liner to go in the shade of vintage pink. I think this is more of like a pinkier version of Pinky Boo Neutral by NYX which you know use it pretty much every time. For lips, I have the e.l.f. matte lip color in the shade Natural. It's like a nude. I'm kind of focusing this more on the center, but that's pretty much my first impression on things that I featured in my last video, which if you haven't seen it, it'll be linked at the end of this video. This sponge, no, 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 no. The smell of this, no. This eyeshadow primer, it just feels really greasy. I don't know why, just does. But that's pretty much all for this video. If you guys liked it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel or give it a thumbs up or both. If you guys have any video requests, you can leave them in the comments down below or at me on my social media, which is all under Sassy Maddie YT. See how it's spelled terrible, Twitter, Instagram. Let me know if you've tried anything out recently or if you've tried any of this and your thoughts on it. But I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.